Good morning, everybody. We are in the studio of Nancy Noel, and this is a rare treat. Now, if you didn't see the previous three segments or the entire show yesterday, we've spent pretty much um, the essentially two days here with Nancy, and Nancy is actually painting for us right now. Nancy, tell us a little bit about when you sat down to do this, what was going on? Well, this, this particular painting is what you call figure and composition. So really what I'm looking for when I'm doing this is I'm looking for a strong composition. So I started this a few days ago for you. I, this is a painting that I kind of wanted to do. So as the painting matures, this will get darker and darker. The light will come through here. I kind of put a billow in the, in the quilts. The light will come through here, pick up on her, and then it'll get lighter as it comes over here. At least that's my plan. A lot of times it doesn't go, you know, according to the plan because when I hit the canvas, I don't always know what's going to. So happen. this is probably one of those dumb questions everybody asks you. But for every painting, do you start in a different place, in on the canvas, or is it different every time? It's different every time, but when I'm doing a face, it's really important that I get that face because if that face is not right, then nothing uh. else is going to make any difference. So on this particular painting, I laid the face out, and when I knew that I was getting it, it's not finished, but when I knew that it was what I wanted it to be and that I wasn't going to be, you know, okay, struggling with it. Okay, do a few more it. strokes so we can see it working. Okay. <laughs> All right, sorry. All right, and so I should tell people the incredible thing about Nancy, which I did not know was that she is dyslexic and they had sort of given up on you on a, in a way until they saw you paint? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they said that I should be put in a special school. Really? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, so, so, what I, so how old were you when you realized that you had talent? Well, I think I'm still realizing it, but I. Oh, uh, interesting well, you answer. do. You know, yeah. I don't. I don't think that anybody really uh, does. It. You know, whether you're a writer, musician, or whatever, you never think, "Oh gosh, you know, I'm really good enough now." I don't think that that really happens. But um, and this is not just a job to me. I mean, this is this is this is what I do. I mean, this is who I am. And um, so, um, so what I'm doing is that right now is that I'm kind of feeling my way along. Um, because I know that I want this to be in a darker area. Okay, we're going to so. watch you for a second here as we wrap this up, but I just want to remind people that we've had two days here, uh, and everything is online, and you can see uh, Nancy's barn, you can see uh, many of her paintings, her originals, and right now we're wrapping things up here in the studio, watching the great uh, Nancy Noel uh, paint one of her, I'm going to say masterpieces. That's okay. good, that's there, good. <laughs> there you go, back to the studio. Wow, just 